So we're going to add in another section now. And that section is basically going to be further info because you've done your banner. They're still on your website, your viewer or your user. And now you want to give them a few more details. It might be where you demonstrate, uh, it might be like logos of companies you work with. It might be your credentials. It might be a bit more about you. You don't have to always have an about page, by the way. You can have it all here as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in like a basic section. OK, so I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to add in a section. In fact, no, I'm going to I'm going to use a template. OK, so I lied. We're going to add one in. And the reason is, is because I haven't got any logos I've loaded into my media library. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to type in logo. No, not logo. So we're going to go for clients. There you go, clients. There it is. So I'm just going to use in one of these icons. So I'm going to go for our more awesome clients. OK, I'm going to insert that. And what that's now going to do is it's going to insert it into my page. You could have built this yourself. So if I now, so here's the section that's added. I'm going to click into that section, go to advanced, and I'm just going to like change the values that we have here at the moment. So I'm going to say the padding at the top is actually 100 is fine there, 100 at the top. And we're going to change this to be, I'm going to, well, what we have here is we have a heading they've added, centralized. We've got some text as well, but I'm actually going to get rid of all of that. I'm going to delete that. And I'm also going to delete this heading as well. So what we have is we just have some logos, okay? Um, it's not a carousel, it's just logos. And basically the way this is built, just to show you from scratch, it's a section with uh, five sections, like so, sorry, five columns. And then within each column, they've added in an image. So the image could have been something like, uh, let's go for, uh, let's just add that one in again, just because it's there. They've added in an image. And then they've resized it using the percentages or styling. So they might have said, OK, this can never be more than 70, uh, 50, maybe 50 in size or whatever. And then they've added another image, another image and another image. So that's basically how you're building in your section. Like so, look, you can clearly see it. Look, let's go over here. Style is actually 45 percent, not 50. I was close. I was close. But, you know, there you go. So if I now view that as a page, we now have our information at the top over here, uh, like, so if I can move the mouse, come on, can't move my mouse. Anyway, look, there we go, logo, header at the top, hero banner, and then we got the logos at the bottom. That's now looking a little bit too far from the top, so I'm gonna change that to be rather than 100, I'm gonna change that to actually be about 60. There we go. Play around with it, add colored logos, do what you want. I mean, one thing you could do is let me just take this logo out. Let me add in um, this logo here. It's not even a logo. OK, uh, it looks like a virus thing, which you probably don't want to have. But look, we've got this image here of an, Im an image, right? I'm going to go over to the image. I'm going to go to the CSS filter and I'm going to set the saturation to be completely gray, right? I'm going to go to hover and I'm going to click that and undo. Sorry, click it, don't undo. So the normal is saturated. The hover one, though, if I go over to it, is not saturated. Now watch what happens when I hover over it. Let me show you that again. I hover over it. So you could have 10 whatever logo images or pictures or whatever, and they're all grayscaled, so they're not fighting for your attention. Because if you've got, like, look at my hero banner, it's an orangey color. Purple, orange, it's now conflicting, whereas you won't see the purple until you hover over it. And that's a nice little feature that you could do on a page. OK, that's a section we've built there. We're now going to add in another section. In fact, let me just undo. No, we'll leave that. I'm now going to add in another section. And this time I'm not going to use a pre-built one. I'm now going to build it ourselves. I just wanted to show you the logo and the clients and all that. We're going to add in another section. This one is just going to be two columns. Two, that's four, but two. We're going to set the style for this box to be 1,200. In fact, we might as well just set this one as well. So we're going to set that to be 1,200 as well. There we go. Right. By the way, though, this is an inner section within a section. And I will touch on that in a later video about inner sections, right? 
And that's how you can add a section within a section. But don't overdo that. Please don't overdo that. In fact, I think we should undo what they did here. So let me just very quickly pop this back to five. And I'm going to pick all of these up and just drop them into these. I have to say there was no reason for that template to have an inner section. So let me get rid of that. And look at that. Then quickly, five column section, five columns. I dropped all the images in. I'm going to set this to be 1,200. I'm going to set the box, the padding to be about 60 from the top. And I've gone and repeated what we had at the top there. The only difference is I need to now set these all to be uh, center with a vertical align. So I'm going to, I've gone into the first column. I've just set the vertical alignment to be middle. I'm going to copy that and paste the style. Paste style, paste, paste style. Come on, where are you? And paste style. So they're now all in the center. So you don't need an inner section here. Inner sections is not good for website performance, okay? So don't overdo it, really, don't overdo it. So there was no need for it there, in my opinion. So I've got rid of it. Right, now let's do what we were meant to do. We're gonna add in another section. Section with two columns, 1,200 width. Okay, great. In fact, I'm gonna change this even more. That section at the top, I'm gonna put that to be about 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, 1,100, there we go. Why am I doing that? Well, the reason being is that's the width at the moment of my page, 1,200. I want the logos to come in a little bit. So um, I just want them to come in a little bit. Okay, so let's go back down here. This section is gonna start with breathing space of about 60 from the top. So it's an even spacing between the logos from the top and the logos from the bottom. Next item, we have two columns. Column one is going to be a text box. And I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to copy this because it's already got the mobile settings and the desktop settings and the size and everything. I'm now just going to drop it here. It is white text. So I'm going to go in to my text, go to my text color, and I'm going to go for black. In fact, I would say that um, uh, a dark charcoal -y gray color is better for text than. Whenever you just do black text, it starts to hurt your eyes, I find. Um, and I find just a bit of, just a tiny bit of grayness to that can help. Right. <coughs> we have some text. Now on the right hand side, we're going to add in an image. Okay. So this text over here might have said something a bit more like, who am I? What am I about? What do I, what do I bring to the table? Or something like that. Okay. So we are now going to. And by the way, I'm doing this intentionally slightly wrong because I want to show you how we have to, we could have done it slightly different. So go with this method and then I'm going to quickly adapt it. Right. So we're going to, we got, we have dropped in an image. We go to the content and I'm going to add in, um, let's go for this grayscale image here so that we haven't got too much color going on on the page with light bulbs. I'm going to make sure the image is in the center. I'm going to pick full. It's not showing in full, but it's kind of in full, okay? I go for style. I'm gonna leave that as it is. I'm gonna to go to the CSS filter. And I can, if I want now, make the image a bit brighter. I can even affect the contrast of it. Look at that. I, I can literally modify the way that image looks, which is so cool. So you don't have to take it into Photoshop or paintbrush or anywhere like that. You can just do it on the fly here. I'm now going to set the radius to be about 25, so I'll have a bit of roundedness. And I'm now just going to make it pop ever so slightly with the box shadow. And I'm going to drop the blur to be about five. And let's just see how that looks. We have the text and we have the image with a bit of a popping out. The text, though, is too close to the image. So let's just go back in. We go to column one, not column two, column one. I go to advanced. OK, and I am going to, if you zero zero the padding, this is going to happen. It moves all the way to the right and a little bit to the left. And that is fine as long as you know what you're doing. For the margin, I'm going to say the margin now does not go all the way to the right. It actually stops about 40 from the right. 
change it to 20, 30, 40, 50. Go look at it, visualize it, see what it's looking like and see, is that working for you, yes or no? At the moment, my text is bang up at the top. I could go to column one, I could go to my layout and I might say vertical must be in the middle. So again, play around with what you want. I mean, I'm gonna go here, go to my text, and I'm actually just gonna add in a bit more text like so, okay? So we've got a bit more text. And I'm now going to, yeah, there we go. So we've got some text like that. Again, play around with it. You're gonna know what works for you. And if you think that actually that image is too big, you could either go to your image and resize it, the maximum width and the maximum height. Is it in the middle, top or bottom? or go to the center, the center point of the two columns and I can drag and make column one like it's now gonna be about 60%. You can either do it like this or you can just click over here. You know, go to, click the column, go to column width and just type in 60 and it will now be 60 and the other one will be 40. So you can play around with what your sizes are over here. I mean, I'm gonna put it back to 50. One of the quickest ways to do this though, rather than dragging and entering your values, is go to your section, click on the grid, go to layout, structure, just down there. I've got to get this right, haven't I? Just down there at the bottom, click structure, and I can now go 33, 66, 66, 33, or 50, 50. Go with what works for you. Now, this is actually all going to form part of a. Um, a one page layout. So what I actually need is a header over here. Okay, so there are two ways we could do this. Okay, number one is I go back to my column and I set this to be top. I then go over here to my grid and I drag in a header, but rather than dragging it from scratch, I'm gonna pick this header up here and I'm just gonna paste here and it goes to the bottom. I'm gonna drop it to the top and I'm gonna say, who are we? Who are we? What are we about? And I'm gonna change the text color to be that dark gray and I'm now gonna change the typography to be about, there we go, 600. So we give it a bit more weighting, okay? Who are we? And that is now at the top of that image. That is one way to do it. What we could also do, sorry, there's three ways. The other thing we could also do is this image at the moment or this column, we don't want that column to be in line with the header. I want it to be in line with the words below, the text. So I go to my advanced, okay? I'm gonna zero the margin, and I'm now gonna increase the height. And this is where you might wanna get like a little bit of a pad that's got a flat edge. Just put it up against your screen, okay? And, and keep going down, keep increasing until you can see that it is bang on match. And it might feel really like weird. What, is that all you're using? Yeah. It works, it works for me. So we could do something like that. And obviously here I'm saying now, this looks really odd and I would say you definitely wanna add in a bit more text over here. So um, let me just pick this text up here. Let me add in a return, you know, and you know, I don't know, just, just something like, I'm just trying to get across how it works basically. So at the moment there, that is now in line and there we go, we can see that. That is one of the ways that we could have done it. So let's have a look at how we could have done this in a slightly different way. What we're going to do is we're going to add in a section and it's just going to be one column for now. We're just going to go in and do the normal drill, 1200 for the width, no gap for the columns and minimal height for the margin. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with how far it sits away from the section above at the money because I'm just showing you how we can do this thing slightly differently. What I'm now going to do is add in the header. So I'm gonna copy this header that was here and I'm gonna paste it in, like so. We have the same header, job done. Well, not job done because we're not finished yet, so let's do it. Now, this is where we could leave this as it is, in effect, make a copy of the section above. Okay, I'll talk you through it, so let me copy this here. Add this in below. Get rid of this header here, right? Again, get rid of the margin padding that we had there that we pushed it down. And then get rid of the, for the section, we could change the padding to just get rid of that as well. 
so it's not exactly the same because we, you know, we would obviously modify uh, the padding or the section. So 20, I think it is roughly. Yeah, about 20. So that now is where we have the header at the top, text and the image down like that. That's one way we could have done it. But then we've got an entire section just for that, which isn't too bad sometimes if that's how you like to work, where you like to have, you like to box things off in a certain way. Another way we could have done it is I'm going to duplicate this section. In fact, no, let me do that properly. Let me just copy that section, paste it down here. So we have it down there. I'm now going to add in another complete new section. Like so. No, sorry. Within that section, stay within that section. Now that's just a header. I'm now going to add in a inner section. So I drop the inner section into the section. That is section one. Right, can you see the blue outline? And within there, we have another section. Section, inner section. Okay, so within the inner section, we can now copy our item, paste it in, and we can copy this image and paste that image in as well. So look, let me just do that for you for a moment. Oh, sorry, yeah, um, that inner section, is not the right width. So I added it in. Let me just go in over here, set it to be a box width of 1200, no gap, and again, minimum height. There we go. So this is a section with a header, text, and image. But the header, to get the image to be close or in line with the text, I had to use a positive margin of 71 for the top to move the margin down. This is a section all on its own, just for the header. And then I have another section, which is just the text and the image. So there's no need for the margin now to be adjusted. This is a one entire section with an inner section. So again, I don't need to modify the margin, but it means I can now um, lay it out exactly as I want. The only thing that's missing from here is that is I need to go to this column, and I just need to set the right to be about 40, just so it's in line with what we had above. Now, what is good about using a section and an inner section? Well, this is all one section, right? So it might be that you want to add in um, inner sections. Um, so you have a section maybe that's colored a certain way. So let me go to this section. Let me give it some padding of about 50 at the top and 50 at the bottom. Let me go to the style and I'm going to give it a background color of a light gray color, right? Can you see that now? It looks like it's all within one section, but that's because it is. And it means that if I had done what I've just done now with the gray color, I'd have to do the gray color here and the gray color there. So there's, there's many different ways you can create your sections. You can use an inner section, because you want it to be within another section or just use a completely separate section for the header. I do find though that by doing inner sections, it can affect performance because you're ju it's just, it's to do with the way things render and it's not always advised you do too many inner sections. This for me is a little bit cleaner. Uh, the only difference is that you are adding in a section just for that, but Sometimes that's easier to manage than having to do margins. So I am, just for the sake of it, I'm going to get rid of that second, the first one, and I'm going to get rid of the third one, and I'm just going to keep the second one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, give me about 60 from the top. I think it was 60. Yeah, 60 from the top. And we have another section underneath, which is now my text and my image. What we're now going to do is just make a copy of that. So we duplicated, and look, that's the other thing. By duplicating, I'm only duplicating the content below, not the header, because that sits in its own section. I can now go over here, and I can now literally pick up column two and move it to be in place of column one. Crisscross, or however it works. I can then go over to column one, that is now column two, within this section, go to advanced, and where we had a margin of 40, I'm gonna take that off, because I now do want it to go all the way, but I'm gonna set it to be on the left. 
So what we now have over here is we have a text, image, image, text. But can you see here? The text is slightly more to the left of the image and a little bit over here. So we're going to have to do a little bit of adjustment. I'm going to go over to my image, okay, and I'm going to take off the margin, the padding, sorry. And did you see that? It moved outwards. I'm going to do the same here, take off the mar padding, and it has moved over that side as well. It's filling up more of the gap. And we now have it more in line. I'm not liking the space that we have here, so I'm going to go to this section and I'm now just going to say, give me about 20 more. Let's just see how that looks. And that's looking a little bit better. I'm going to go over here to the image, click the image, and how about we go for this dazzling display here? There we go. A bit more text. Notice the colour. That's the image that is more brighter, sharper, because if we go to style, we go to CSS filter, like so, I had, I had increased it, so I might want to just drop it down again, or I might like it as it is. And remember, you could, if you want, drop the saturation completely. And on hover, if I click it and do nothing else, when I now hover over it, the image comes alive. So there are ways that you can make your website feel a little bit more interactive. So it's when they come over it, now the image color comes out. I'm gonna actually leave it with the image color as it was, because I think that looks quite, it looks quite nice, I would like to think. So we have banner, we have who are we, text, 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 image, 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 and we have a bit of text, okay? Now what I think we need to do is add in another banner that cuts across the screen, which gives across another bold statement, like light bulbs, because I'm not really giving you much statements here at the moment, but this is where you might have another section maybe that has uh, your products or um, some, some other offer or a lead magnet or just some other details about you, your credentials, who you work with, could even be a blog post. But what we're gonna do next is add in another section.